Twenty-year-old Alexa Bartel was driving alone in Jefferson County when a large landscaping rock crashed through her windshield. Her death shocked the community as her family continues to grieve amid the criminal case against three teenagers. They held a memorial last month. We're here today to remember Alexa. The amazing soul she was. Now, one of the suspects, Zachary Quack, has agreed to plead guilty to three counts. That's first degree and second degree assault and criminal attempt to commit assault. As part of his plea deal, Quack agreed to go to prison for at least 20 years. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, we're talking adult prison with adult prisoners. Nine News legal expert Scott Robinson calls Friday's development significant because that puts pressure on the two other teen suspects. Joseph Koenig and Nicholas Carroll Chick are still expected to go to trial this summer on murder charges. But this is a bit of a domino falling in favor of the prosecution. And the question is, will the other two defendants follow suit and enter guilty pleas. It really comes down to what the prosecution determines is the extent of individual culpability. It's unknown who really threw the rock that killed Bartell, but investigators say the three teens were together in seven rock throwing incidents that hurt three other people. And Quack, like the other teen suspects, is now 19 years old. The judge told him this morning, even though he agreed to go to prison for at least 20 years, the court could give him up to 32 years, so he'll find out in September when he's sent. This is a crazy incident where kids need to learn what is having fun from what is dangerous. Throwing rocks at people that's driving is not something that's fun, that's dangerous. Now look, these teens, they're gonna face the consequences of their actions. The first teen that pleaded guilty might just serve just the 20 years that he pleaded guilty for. But the other teens who's gonna let this case go to trial, they're gonna get the maximum sentence if they're found guilty of this. My condolences to the family, and I hope the family could get justice for their family member dying. Let me know what you guys think.